Hello friends, welcome to the Shekhar Academy. This is Guru Shekhar. Today we are going to discuss about AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Module 3. In this module we will we will be discussing 10 more real exam questions and answers. So let's start the the question number 21 your company intends to subscribe to an azure support plan the support plan must allow for new support requests to be opened which of the following are support plans that will allow this answer by dragging the correct option from the list to the answer area so here are the options we have the support plans in the azure, in azure basic developer standard professional direct and premier so the question says that the support plan must allow for new support request to be opened so in the answer area except basic azure will allow to raise a new support request when we need to raise any request for the support team. So basic plan will not have the ability to raise any new support request. So the answer is A, developer, standard, professional direct and premier. AZ900 exam question number 22. The question is included in a number of questions that defect the identical set of However, every question has a distinctive result. Establish if the solution satisfies the requirements. The question starts from here. Your company's Azure subscription includes a basic support plan. They would like to request an assessment of an Azure environment designed from Microsoft. This is, however, not supported by the existing plan. You want to Make sure that the company subscribes to a support plan that allow this functionality while keeping expenses to, to a minimum. So the current plan which is not supporting to rise in a support request. So and we should consider and keep in mind the expenses to be uh, minimal when we are uh, recommending the solution right so here the solution is you recommend that the company subscribe to the professional direct support plan so so we have the support plans basic developer standard professional direct and premier so in that the professional direct support plan also support to raise a support request but when we when we talk about the expenses to be a minimal and this is not meet the goal what we are looking for right so the the correct answer is here b no az900 exam question number 23 the question is included in a number of questions that affect an identical setup however Every question has a distinctive result established if the solution satisfies the requirements. The question starts from here. Your company's Azure subscription includes a basic support plan. They would like to request an assessment of an Azure environments design from Microsoft. This is, however, not supported by the existing plan. You want to make sure that the company subscribes to a support plan that allow this functionality while keeping expenses to a minimum. The solution is here. You recommend that the company subscribes to the developer support plan. So since the basic support plan will not support to raise a support request, so the next minimal support, minimal uh, charges where Right, so the developer support plan will allow uh, to write a support request as well as keeping the expenses to be minimum. So the right answer is yes. AZ900 exam question number 24. 
your developers have created 10 web applications that must be host on Azure, you need to determine which Azure web tire plan to host the web apps. Web tire plan must meet the following requirements. So here are the requirements we have. The web apps will use custom domains. The web apps each require 10 GB of storage. The web apps must must each run in dedicated compute instances. Load balancing between instances must be included. Cost must be minimized. So which web tier plan should you use? So the requirements are clear. Uh, uh, right? So, uh, so now we see the options we have. A standard, B basic, C free and D shared. So for the basic, free and shared, these all three will not have the ability give you the dedicated compute instances as well as load balancing feature won't be available in these plans. So now when you say the standard, standard plan will allow you use the custom domains and it also provide the uh, required 10 GB of storage space and also load balancing feature available in the standard plan. So the right answer here, standard is the right answer. See, it's standard. AZ900 exam question number 25. Your developers have created a portal web app for users in the Miami branch office. The web app will be publicly accessible and used by the Miami users to retrieve customer and product information. The web app is currently running in an unpromises test environment. You plan to host the web app on Azure. You need to determine which Azure web type plan to host the web app. The web type plan must meet the following requirements. So here are the requirements. The website will be miami.wayland.com URL. The website will be deployed to two instances. SSL support must be included. Cost must be minimized. The website requires 12 GB of storage. So which web type plan should you use? Now again here the options we have A standard, B basic, C free, D shared. So basic free and shared will not have the capability to uh, give a SSL support. So the right answer uh, here is standard plan support the uh, and uh, all the following requirements. AZ900 exam question number 26. The question is included in a number of questions that to fix the identical setup. However, every question has a distinctive result. Establish if this solution satisfies the requirements. Your company planning to migrate all their virtual machines to and an Azure Pay as you go subscription. The virtual machines are currently hosted on the Hyper-V host in a data center. You are required make sure that the intended Azure solution uses the correct expenditure model. So the solution is here. You should recommend the use of the elastic expenditure model. So does the solution meet the goal? The options we have yes and no. So the Company is planning to migrate all their virtual machines to an Azure pay as you go subscription. So the solution what we are seeing here elastic expenditure model. So this will not uh, uh, support the pay as you go mo subscription model. So this uh, right answer is no here. So the elastic expenditure model will not support the pay as you go subscription. AZ900 exam question number 27. The question is same as what we see in the question number 26. The solution is different right here. So the solution is you should recommend the use of the scalable expenditure model. Does the solution meet the goal? The options are yes and no. So the again, K 
scalable expenditure model will not support the pay as you go model right the right answer is b no and the question is same what we have seen in the 26 and 27 the solution what we are provided is different so the solution is you should recommend the use of the operational expenditure model does the solution meet the goal right so in the question we see that pay as you go subscription so only the operational expenditure model supports the pay as you go model subscription so the right answer is here is option a yes the next question is az 900 exam question number 29 the question starts from here you have a thousand virtual machines hosted on the hyper v host in data in a data center you plan to migrate all the virtual machines to an azure pay as you go subscription you need to identify which expenditure model to use for the planned azure solution which expenditure model should you identify the options here a operational b elastic c capital d scalable so again we see that the subscription model what we are seeing that pay as you go subscription so in the options the right answer is a operational so the operational expenditure model will support the pay as you go subscription the right answer is a as in android exam question number 30 you attempt to create several managed microsoft sql server instances in an azure environment and receive a message that you must increase your azure subscription limits what should you do to increase the limits the options we have create a service health alert b modify an azure policy c create a new support request and d upgrade your support plan so the question saying that that you receive a message that you must increase your azure subscription limits so you have to connect with the support plan right so support team so to connecting with them you need to write a support request so the right answer is here c create a new support request to solve the issue thank you for watching my video series so we are completing the module 3 uh, if you like please subscribe and share my channel thanks for watching my channel